Okay, guys, in this section, we're going to discuss about email protection. One of the another key component, or we can see one of the another most important section that we can call email protection. It is very important. I need your all attention in this section or in this lecture. Email has become a critical part of our everyday business. It is very, very important, and we know that it's very, very important nowadays for us. We can say from internal management to direct customer support. Business must be mindful that a successful email platform starts with the basic principle of email security to ensure that privacy and protection of the customer and business information. It has been well documented that the spam, phishing attempts, and otherwise unsolicited and unwelcome email often account for more than 60% of all email that an individual or business receives. If you look at the junk mail, you may see that uh, like a day more than 100 email you receive it directly moved to junk mail. So those are, we can say as a technical person, those are a malware. That's why the company know those are a malware, they directly send it to junk mail. Email is the primary method for spreading virus and malware and it is one of the easiest what one of the easiest to defend against consider using email filtering service that your email service hosting provider or other cloud providers offer a local email filter application is also an important component as well point should be noted if you have a local application for email filtering that is also fine. As much tools that you have, that is better than if you don't have any tools. So in here, I mentioned that if you host your, for example, exchange to the cloud or the third company or whatever company who take care of your email exchange, or if you have an exchange server in the server room, or if you have exchange server in your data center, probably the local email filter application is also important for you. So it is not a bad idea to consider using, we can say, email filtering services from the service provider. Almost every company, those who are providing email services, they provide email filtering services. Ask them to enable that portion or ask them to turn that feature on and you will be fine and there will be no error because they will take some of their responsibility as well top of that ensure that automatic updates are enabled on your email application email filter and antivirus programs ensure that the filter are review regularly that important email and we can see our domains are not blocked in error for example if you turn on the email filtering some of the email that for example comes from different company sometimes the email filtering services turn off that kind of things that's why you're not receiving any email so it is better to just check the we can say the domain or the name which is not blocked through the email filtering technology alone cannot make a business secure it really makes sense for example everything is there all is well but what if an employee is not trained properly that is why you will see some of the company email is under attack and their email is under threat because they forgot or we can say they neglect to train their employee if they don't have a technical person they can hire for a short time to train them how to use and they should know what is risk i that's why it department is built and designed and that is why most of the company have IT department. For example, if you if you receive an email and you don't know is it right, good, is it right person, you have a doubt, you just need to forward to IT department. They will take care of that one. They will do the analysis. They will scan that email. They will scan the attachment. They will find out what is going on. They do have a specific tools or they have some genuine application which they pay for that to make sure all employee confidential is safe and no one is using or no one is in the middle attack on top of that every employee when they join the company they have to go through this process and it is not bad idea that every year 
we have to refresh the course because threat is different, vulnerability is different, or we can say the platform is different. There's a lot of update. For example, now we are a witness of Windows 11. So with the Windows 11, the employees, they are familiar with the Windows 10, but they don't know how to use. They know how to use Windows 11, but there is some other things that they have to no, that is why it is not a bad idea every six months or every year at least one time you have to train your all employee about how to use or we can see how to respond the email back and how they can recognize which email is good email and which email is not good email beside that we have a specific system beside that we pay for the email filtering beside that the cloud computing the we can see the email service provider is tracking or controlling our emails email communication beside that we have we can see local application which is trafficking which is controlling our email communication we probably need to that we have to train the employees as well okay guys and the next lecture we're going to discuss about protect sensitive data sent via email see you guys there